Hello and welcome back. I'm Greg with OctoClean again, and we're doing a product review today on the Karcher Professional BLV 5-1 Backpack Vacuum. So this is a battery operated backpack vacuum. Um, they say that it's ultra light and it's ultra strong. I can definitely agree with you on that. So let's first of all, I'll talk about the ultra light aspect of it. The weight of this machine with the battery is 9.9 .9 pounds. So the Protein backpack vacuum that is also battery operated, that weight with the battery in it on your back is 19.9 .9 pounds. So 10 pounds heavier. Now, a lot of people say, well, that's because the battery, the batteries are, are heavy and that's not a lie. So let's look at the weight of a Protein corded backpack vacuum is around 12.5 pounds. So you're looking at a battery operated backpack vacuum that's 9.9 .9 pounds, a lot lighter. Um, what makes it lighter? So let's review that. Well, if you look at the casing, the casing is not hard plastic. It's actually kind of a foam type of material and the battery is sitting on top and not on the bottom. That makes a big difference when you're having it on your back, you're not leaning back. It kind of keeps the weight on your shoulders and on your waist strap as you would any other type of vacuum. Why do I want a battery backpack? Why don't I just have a, a corded backpack? Well, if you're doing a small space, a corded backpack may work for you. If you're doing a very large building, the amount of time it takes to continually unplug and replug and pull the cord into a room or get it out from underneath a cubicle, that really affects how much payroll a franchisee in our case makes or has to put out because of the amount of time that someone is sitting there messing with the cord. These battery backpacks with continual, so there's two options here that is a little bit different than what other manufacturers are coming up with. They have a super suction. So you have an E function that gets the vacuum pressure down and then you press the E function again and it brings your vacuum pressure up. Even with it low, it has as much vacuum pressure as a corded electric. When you put it on high, sometimes it's so high that your vacuum tool, so your floor tool will actually stick to the ground. So there's instances where it's just too high. So if I'm running it on E the whole time, I have about 65 minutes of continual runtime. That's if I plug it in and I'm just running it. Yes, you can get a lot of square footage done with one battery. And if you notice here, we'll kind of transition into the battery section. The batteries aren't as big as the other manufacturers are having. You could actually have this in your janitor's closet. You could put this, have somebody you know, if they had a pocket big enough, carry it in their pocket to have the, se the second battery if you're vacuuming, you know, hundred and some thousand square foot buildings. So the battery technology for this is a huge plus for us because we can't afford to buy another battery. So we're talking about a bunch of different options. And I'm sure a lot of people that have been in this industry are, are looking like, well, yeah, but what if I'm right or left-handed? You can take this bottom part off and you just turn it around and it'll go on your left-hand side and you reclamp it in together. So it is HEPA compliant, so you can use it in hospital spaces that require you to be HEPA compliant. Now, let's talk about the little differences that possibly people may or may not like. Um, the wand, the wand is a little bit smaller as far as diameter than you would have, let's say in a protein wand. That will impact a little bit about how much you can, I guess, suck up. If you're sucking up nails at a construction site, this may not be the one for you. This may, you may want to go back to your pro team and doing that. But if you're doing general, just daily maintenance around an office building where you're doing paper clips, not a problem. If you notice, it's a straight one. It's not that crooked one that you're seeing from a lot of other manufacturers, but it also does click. So it sits in place where if you're dealing with the height of a, an employee or the user, this you can adjust very simply. So I do like the wand. The floor tool, something that we struggled initially with is the width of the actual pickup on the floor tool. A little bit small. Um, if you're noticing other manufacturers, the entire wand has a pickup. That being said, some things we do like. It does have a wheel, so you're not forcing it. You're not pushing it all the time where there's, you know, just friction is pushing back and forth. So it does have a little bit of help there. Something else we really like by pressing this yellow foot push button down, which you can easily press with your foot. It does engage what we like to call like a sweeping action. So if you're on a tile floor, this you can kick up and it 
kicks the little sweepers down and kind of doesn't give you as much vacuum pressure because trust me, with this thing plugged in, you get a lot of vacuum pressure. One of the cons that we did see, so really quick, why don't you comment about the vacuum that you're using and what you like and don't like about it. And if you've used this vacuum, what areas you think could be better and what you don't like about it. Vacuum bags. Unlike other vacuum manufacturers where you have a vacuum bag that you can shake out, this vacuum bag is a fill it up and dispose of it. So you're going through probably a little bit more vacuum bags than you would. Um, they're not expensive, so it's not a huge option as far as that goes. Like, oh, it's so, so expensive and it's cost prohibitive. It's, it's really not. Overall, this vacuum, my overall review, I really like it. Um, if you're dealing with trying to save some payroll, trying to save money, uh, if you're dealing with areas that are maybe far out in the middle of nowhere and there's no electrical access, perfect. We deal a lot with this or we're doing with financial institutions where we're going into vaults. There's no outlets in these things. So we're dealing with that where it's, we're just bringing this along with us and we're doing our vacuuming. And again, the weight is another huge benefit to this machine. You're looking at a battery operated backpack vacuum that weighs 9.9 .9 pounds compared to even a corded electric backpack vacuum at 12 pounds. This is lighter, it's faster. So that's our review. Um, leave us some comments, what you guys think about it, if you've used one. Thanks for watching today, and I look forward to our next product review.